Okay guys, here I am. I wanted to end the workshop and give you a quick run through of Photo Sweeper. I've got the dialogue to work. This is what it looks like. Um, it asks you here to drag and drop photos or click the media browser. I can also add photos where it will take me to my, uh, say, my family pictures. I know that I've got a lot of uh, duplicates in there. These are all raw files. I can select all and drag them in. Or just go open. There it will load all the pictures. I then look at my settings in terms of how I want to compare. So here is bitmap. There's by histogram, by time interval, by time interval and bitmap, time and histogram, and only duplicates. So this time I will look for duplicates only. And then it says compare uh, the images or the thumbnails. I hit compare it goes through all the images or I think I know what happened here I'm just going to stop that that's just looking at the thumbnail so it doesn't have to compare the whole file which if it's a because it's a raw file it's a lot bigger so it's going to take a lot longer so thumbnail is important in terms of speed. Um, and let's just use time interval. So in terms of images that were taken more or less the same time. And here you define the time interval. So let's look at pictures that were taken within a minute of one another. This we can change at any time. So we push compare. I'm saying auto market, you can use your intelligence. And then it sorts them into a whole lot of groups. Can you see here? Group group one. It's only got one group because they all were shot more or less in the same time interval. Here's group two. If I move this time interval down or five minutes and less, it, it probably only have one group because these were all shot within the same time period. If I move this every five seconds, you're probably going to have about ten groups. So there's group five. There's group four. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. So this will alter the way that we see um, we see the pictures. Your preferences are also very important in terms of your auto marking, which is down here. You can tell it in terms of what um, to auto mark according to ratings, labels. You might have all three stars or all four stars. So it says you. This is the rule, mark with fewer stars, mark with smaller dots per inch. This is very technical, but the more you get to know this program and you need it to sort out uh, more specifically, you would use these rules. <coughs> Here is your, sort, your filter and sort. You can sort just your videos, just your images, just your JPEGs, um, just your RAW files for different uh, camera brands. And obviously it's, um, it depends on your needs, but you need to know that you can be very specific. <coughs> Excuse me, here are your, um, the size of um, pictures. You might only want to sort your larger pictures because the smaller pictures make no difference. And this would actually speed up your search. And in general, you can say compare photos of the same format only. So you don't mix JPEGs and RAW uh, raw files. Um, here you, by default, you can always decide yours uh, self, so you would say never auto mark. Um, and if, whether you want to keep photos or not, 
you, they must always ask you because you want to know whether you want to dump those pictures or not. So there's your preferences. Here you can decide every time whether you want to mark or auto mark. So let's make it um, five seconds or less. There's group one. We've got that picture and that picture. We want to look. We've only got two pictures, so we can put them face to face and we can see which one we like. So say we don't like that one, we double click it and it goes brown. And when it goes brown, it's got the delete uh, icon at the bottom. And you can do that manually by going unmark or mark here. Can you see it changes color? So it would mean get rid of that one. Then we can go to our next group over here where there are two. And we could say, okay, we don't like this one here. Double click it, it goes brown. This particular group here, it's got 10 pictures. And you can see here, it's one and two of 10. So if you want to see the next one, you would go, this is two and three of 10, three and four of 10, and so it goes on, so that you can see the pictures, which one works, which one doesn't. If you say, now I want to see them all together, you can see the whole group here, and you can zoom down, and you can see the pictures and decide, okay, out of these, um, I like that one. So it means this one, this one, I'm holding down the shift key now, and that one, and that one, this one, command, and this one we want to get rid of, and that one, and we say we double click. That only gets rid of one, or we can mark all of them. And so we go on and we sort. If while we're sorting, <coughs> we want to change the configuration, we now look at time and bitmap. And we give it some more criteria in terms of the time interval as well as partial or exact matching and we rerun it. <coughs> it's going to give different criteria. There's your group one and you can see in terms of this criteria there were only two photos in one group. And you can see that they, uh, they're quite similar. These are a Miller and Luke playing in the mud pool. Farm life at its best. So we say we don't like this one. Mark it brown. Now the time comes to see what are we going to throw away. We push the tray and we see it's there and we can decide, okay, we want to move it to trash, move and rename, or unmark it. So if we want to remove to trash, it says, are you sure you want to remove the selected photos? We can trash it. If we, it says that one photo was moved, remaining, uh, saving 15 megabytes on your disk. And it tells you it was put into trash. And if you make a mistake, you can always go back to your trace over here. And there's the file. So there is a, there is a safety. And what else? I think that's pretty much the the story here. So that's it. If you have any more questions, please uh, let me know. It's a great program. It's going to save you a lot of time. And um, just remember, it's more important to let your good pictures rise to the top than spend hours sorting your trash. The storage on your hard drive is the cheapest part of the whole photographic uh, world. So don't get too preoccupied with this, <coughs> but it certainly will help remove the clutter and help you select your best pictures. Good luck, keep in touch, and let's see your videos. Bye.